Hey, uh, Black Nerd Comedy, uh, this is Josiah, just responding to your video about, um, Geek Girls, uh, the latest video you did, it was mostly in relation to gamer girls feeling that they had to, um, defend themselves, you know, at conventions, or really just in life, um, because of things that they love, and I totally loved your, uh, response, and I, I agree, and it's my same view on Geek Girls, which is, they shouldn't have to fight, um, it sucks that you have to defend yourself, um, because usually it seems like you, you got to be able to sniff out, you know, people who are genuinely curious about you, your life and your interests and people who are just trying to prove something themselves. I think those guys that you listed, Andre, who like listed, you know, or like you, you, you know, your example was, you know, do you know Space Cats? Well, then you don't know, you know, classic 80s or classic 90s cartoons or something. I'd never even heard of Space Cats, you know, or something like that. You know, they're not genuinely curious you know they're just jerks trying to you know prove themselves so it's like it's like two different people trying to prove themselves the geek, the geek girl the girl is trying to prove that she's an actual geek and and the guy is trying to prove that well yeah they're both trying to prove the same thing and trying to make the other look foolish and whether you're a girl or it doesn't matter in life you just have to be able to sniff out people you know sniff out people like that and be able to tell who genuinely cares you know, because this, this isn't, everything in life isn't debate class. You know, I love what you said, Andre, about, you know, do you get, you know, prizes for being, you know, what you consider, you know, a real geek or something like that? Is there cash money? You know, all those silly things. But it's true, though. You know, or will the sky fall if she, if you know, if some girl didn't see Space Cats or or, or never heard of, you know, um, SWAT, or SWAT Cats or Bobby's World or something like that? You know, it's, it's, you shouldn't have to prove yourself. I totally believe that, and I think it starts it starts with the person, not with the outside world, it starts with the person. If you are into Twilight, if you're into Smurfs, if you're into, you know, um, I love I love Superman, I love Static Shock, you know, Gambit's my, fa my favorite, X-Men and things like, you know, if I'm into those things, I'm not going to try and, and sell myself to somebody. I just know that I love them, and I fit my own criteria, and I think, very simply, it's time for girls to do the same thing, because... They don't have to prove themselves. If I don't have to prove myself, you shouldn't have to prove yourself. Don't stoop down to the level of someone else who feels they have to prove themselves. If you have to prove yourself, it's because they've already decided they aren't worthy also. They don't think they're enough of a, a geek. And it's not about being enough of a geek. You know, um, I could get in trouble with this, but it's the same thing with the black card. You know, it's not about being black enough. It's about being who you are. You know, because as India Ari said, spirit knows no color. You know, it's about the people you love and it's about, you know, the mark you're going to leave on this world. And bringing that back to, you know, my thoughts on, you know, geek girls, nerd girls, Andre, you hit the nail right on the head. It's not about fighting. It's not about debates. It's not about arguments. It's not. It, it's about the things that you love. You know, all the pop culture out there, you know, it's a big world. New pop culture comes out every day. Girls shouldn't have to fight. We shouldn't have to fight. It's not about fighting all these things. If you really think about it. All this pop culture, all these games that girls love or that you love, Smurfs or comics or Twilight or whatever, everyone's got their own opinions. But you know, you notice something that all people, and especially in this demographic of geeks we're talking about have in common, is that all these things bring us together. Conventions bring us together. Book signings bring us together. Midnight premieres bring us together. And girls should take that to heart. Because if they take it to heart, everyone, everyone will. You know, each one teach one. You know, if I if I see, you know, Andre, that you're really owning, you know, the type of pop culture that you love, despite how other people feel about it, there might be things that I love that I think other people may not like. But you know what? It's not about them. It's about me. And I totally agree with you, Andre, that um, girls should stop sweating it. You know, just love what you love. You know, you don't have to get in arguments with people. You know, as my mom says, no one ever argued with themselves. And if they did, they got strapped in an I love me jacket and they went someplace far, far away. It takes two to tango, and it takes two to argue. And uh, that's how I feel about girls, and uh, or uh, geek girls. You, you don't have to defend yourself, you know? You uh, just know who you are, and just do you, okay? That's what I think.